Hey cuties, welcome to another Creative Sim video in The Sims 4. So today, I am making a sim inspired by Megan Fox in Jennifer's Body. So this sim is slightly based off of Jennifer Check, actually very much so based off of Jennifer Check from that movie. If you have not seen it, I definitely recommend you go watch it. It is so freaking good. It's got Megan Fox in it as well as Amanda Seyfried, I think is how, I don't know what her last name is, something like that. Um, the movie's so good. It's like a horror movie. It is so, it's like, it's very early 2000s. It's just very good chef's kiss, mwah, mwah, as I always say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had a really hard time making her, to be honest. It was a struggle because making Sims look realistic or making IRL people in the Sims is a little bit too difficult, a little bit too out of my comfort zone. So it was a struggle. She doesn't look that much like her, which is why I'm going to say inspired by, not really like fully based necessarily. But yeah, definitely inspired by because she she resembles Megan a little bit, but not enough. But however, let me go ahead and tell you all my whole like reasoning why I got inspired to do this creative sim in the first place. Because there is a photo that went around Twitter for a quick minute that, well, really like two or three days <laughs> about um, the BMAs because Megan attended with MGK because, you know, they're together, whatever. But MGK literally, literally looked like he was on death row. Um, he was on death's doorstep, girlies. And he looked so bad while Megan's in front of him looking like the ethereal goddess that she is. And so people were making all these jokes on Twitter like, oh my god, I had just hit my desk so hard on my hand where I have, oh boo-boo, he. But um, anyway, people were making fun of the whole situation on Twitter being like, oh my god, Jennifer's body's real. Yes, go girl, Miss Queen. She's literally sucking the life out of him as she should. Go girl, good for her. It's so funny, but he really did look like he was dying. Meanwhile, she looked so gorgeous. So yeah, that was the highlight of my, um, well, week, I guess, <laughs> was that right there. So that was the whole inspiration because I love the idea of having like a succubus or something. That is one of the killers that me and my friend want in DBD so bad. It's like a gorgeous like succubus because the idea of a succubus is so good like a gorgeous like ethereal womanly goddess figure that ends up being a total monster and eats like men that's that's the dream i guess but yeah that's just my whole inspiration behind little jennifer check because i didn't know what to name her so i just named her jennifer check like in jennifer's body but anyway um let me talk about myself for a second because Listen, y'all, I really like making YouTube content right now, which is a good thing, but it's helping me through my dark periods in life because I have really bad or have recently had really bad mental health. It's always been a thing with me, but it's always been like manageable. Like I just kind of wait for it to go away and it does eventually. And I get, a l I have like good days, bad days, whatever, but it just recently in the past, like mm, two months, I'd say has gotten pretty difficult to manage and I'm not, I haven't been doing the best at all. I've had really, really bad days, worse days than I've had in years, if ever. So yeah, I've had some really bad days, but YouTube has become my escape, which it has not been my escape in probably close to two years now, if not almost over. No. Yeah. It hasn't been my escape from reality in a really long time. Let's just say that. And I'm, I'm having so much fun with it. I love making content. It's a struggle sometimes, um, but it just helps me stay productive. Like I had a doctor's appointment. We're going to get personal. I had a doctor's appointment where it was like, um, it was just like a follow up about like checking on my levels and seeing about all this other stuff, talking about my depression. And it was like, it went okay. But I talked about things I don't talk about with anyone, like how I'm just trying to like, you know, be kind of productive, do things. And I told my doctor what I was doing and she was like, yeah, but that's you being secluded. You're alone. You're not with anybody. I'm like, yeah, I'm not physically with other people. I have been over the past like week or so. I've hung out with friends and stuff like that, thankfully. But it it really sucks. You kind of like low key open up to someone about what you're doing to try and stay sane. And they kind of like shrug it off like that's not working. That's not going to help you. L I, yes, it is. So I didn't enjoy that experience, but I love her anyway. She's a really good doctor. But um, yeah, I didn't enjoy that. So that makes me not want to ever open up to people about what I do. Um, but yeah, YouTube's helping me a lot. I love doing it so much. 
again it keeps me productive that's why i'm trying to upload monday wednesday friday and last week i had more videos than that i uploaded four times last week so that was the successful week and this week i'm gonna have this creative sim going up on monday then i have an episode of nsb going on wednesday hopefully because right now it's sunday and i had no videos because i i, I pre-recorded all of those videos got them edited scheduled everything um probably like by wednesday i think i was finished with uploads and videos and stuff so i have not recorded in almost a week so yeah i've been on my freaking game and i've enjoyed it i've enjoyed it so much because i did i went out i actually went downtown and ate with my friends and stuff like that because i hadn't seen them in a long time ever since i shut everyone out hee hee but yeah i went and hung out with them and there was no parking. It was it was Wednesday afternoon, dead of summer. Ever it's busy as hell. And I parked next to the core house, and it was like in this parallel parking spot. I didn't have to parallel park, thankfully. But there's a little. It, it was in this little parking spot. I had to get out of my car and walk like a block in order to get to the restaurant. I loved it. I loved it more than I should have. Like I could live downtown and walk everywhere if I had to. Like I, it was such a good. Like the wind was blowing. It was such a good experience. Oh. It was so nice, but yeah. Um, what sucks is that I left my food, my leftovers, on the freaking table, my little to-go box. It was annoying, but anyway. Um, yeah, that day was good, and the day before, I think I went to go see my friend, who was one of the friends that I went to go eat with. Um, I saw her, and it was a good experience as well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I've just been trying to get out and have some fun. I haven't gone out in the past few days, though, because I just haven't. I've been playing Sims, which, I mean not not by myself i still talk to people though like if i didn't have someone to talk to i would go stir crazy i would have to do youtube 24 7 and not do anything else because i have to talk to somebody otherwise i lay in bed and do nothing so that's how i'm going um i hope that you all don't go through that same thing but i'm sure that a lot of you do so yeah you're, you're not alone but i'm almost done with her outfits her every day one i change her hair i think i change her hair i don't think you all have seen that yet but I changed her hair. I don't like the change. I'm not into it. Because I had some photos that I was like referencing, especially for the first outfit. And the outfit itself is cute, but the hair I don't like in the end. Her second outfit is my favorite because I'm obsessed with the puffer jacket. It looks kind of like a fit that she low-key wore, just I took some creative liberties with. And her second outfit is just a very, um, I don't know, sexy to me. <laughs> I love it. I overuse this cardigan so much. I used it on Beverly and NSB. I think it may be another creative sim. I'm not. Maybe not. I don't know. But I overused that freaking cardigan so much. But uh, yeah, here I'm changing her hair. Yeah, I'm changing her hair now. And I don't like her every day one. It's not cute. Um, every day two, I like the hair. But I don't. I think I like the last one more. I do. I do. But anyway, um, I think the creative sim's almost finished. Am I correct on that? I don't know. Oh my god, my little mouse is not working anymore. Yeah, the cast is kind of almost done. But anyway, um, she'll be on the gallery. Uh, I'm Keegs X, I think is what my thing is. I have no idea anymore, to be honest. But I had so much fun making her. It took me quite a minute to figure out what I was doing. But oh, also, I, I did give her likes and dislikes on the gallery. She likes pink, red, and black, and then I don't know what her other favorites are and stuff. Yeah, I'm freaking obsessed with her. Um, <laughs> I have some more editing to do. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the very next video. So, good. Bye, everyone.